guys, so today I'm going to be doing an eyebrow tutorial and right now I don't have any eyebrows on. These are my natural brows. Um, I do have a little bit of foundation over them just because that's usually what I do last. I usually do my foundation and then my eye makeup and then my brows. I did a eyebrow routine a few months ago and I'm not using those products at all anymore. Um, I just found something else that I love even more and I just want to show you guys what I do for my eyebrows and this is going to help you achieve defined, clean, natural looking brows. These are not going to be like bold extreme brows where it looks like you drew it on with a sharpie. That's very harsh and that's not the kind of look we're going for. You want them to look like they are your own eyebrows. So I'm going to show you guys what I use and how it's so, In case you guys haven't heard that Anastasia, Anastasia, Beverly Hills, she is like the queen of eyebrows. The best thing is is that Anastasia, she has so many different colors. So no matter what your hair color is, you're going to be able to find the perfect shade for you because they have light browns and dark browns and for brunettes and for blondes and if you're a redhead, if you want like an auburn brow, like they just have so many different selections and they really just cater to your eyebrows and make you look amazing. So first thing that I always do is I take my brow pen, I throw it around first. <laughs> Um, first thing I do is I take my brow pencil, and this is the Anastasia Brow Wiz, and I have it in the color brunette because I am a brunette, and I am a dark brunette. So this is the perfect shade for me. Um, this one in particular has a spoolie on one end, so you kind of just want to go through and brush your brows into the shape that you like want them. And as far as grooming goes, I just tweeze my eyebrows. I don't trust anyone to touch them ever again, so I just do it all myself, and I find that tweezing is just really just the easiest, and works well for me. So after you do that, you want to take your brow pencil, and you don't have to twist it up too much, but just enough to have a little bit of a thing poking out, if you could say. So basically what you want to do is, the whole idea of this is you have to use a very light hand and light pressure. Otherwise, it's going to look like you drew it on with a crayon, I promise. So you just have to be really light, like just like flicking your fingers. So I usually start like about right here. So you want to start right there because then it's going to look way too harsh. So start a little bit in and at the very bottom you want to start with your pencil and kind of just trace along the underneath of your brow or where you want your underneath of your brow to be if you don't really have much of an eyebrow um, just go along the bottom to create that nice defined shape and I think it's essential to have a pencil for that because with a powder, you're not going to get as precise. So, um, just draw underneath and then I kind of like to fill in the arch right there because that's where I want it to be the darkest and then just fill in the tail. gone in and done that I'm gonna be taking a brow powder and this is the dark brown brow powder duo and it just looks like that it has a dark brown shade and then a light kind of ashy brown shade and I'm just using this dual ended brush from Anastasia as well and so I'm gonna just dip it into the darker color and I'm gonna start right where the line is that I just um, drew in with my pencil I'm gonna go over that And that's going to set it so it stays. You just use a powder or if you just use a pencil, it's not going to be as long wearing. So um, you go underneath and then I'm going to start working my way up above where we just filled in. Like that. Then we'll go along the top of the brow. And then I'm going to go in with the lighter color in the duo and I'm going to start working on the front of my brow. So I'm just going to flick it up like this 
and then turn my brush vertical and flick it that way. That is how you have it. A nice defined brow. Then I'm just gonna go and do the other side, same thing. to bam in your face and that's fine you don't have to do yours as thick as mine but as you can see my natural brow is really full and I just kind of want to define them and accentuate them because they really just frame your eyes and I just I'm obsessed with a good brow personally I said this in a past video before that eyebrows are sisters and not twins because you can see that mine aren't exactly the same but my two eye eyes are not exactly the same either so you don't have to try to be perfect because I know from experience that if you, okay, say you're trying to get this one to look like this one. So you keep going back and forth, adding more, adding more. And the next thing you know, your brows are like freaking the McDonald's M. And you're like, because you just keep adding more because you want them to look symmetrical. And you don't have to worry about that. As long as they look like they are in part of the same family, you're good. Don't worry about it. You can top it off with a brow gel if you want, but I find it's really long wearing just like this. Like I don't feel like I need to add it. Stay in place with the combination of the pencil and the powder. It just kind of makes them set and stay all day long. So yeah, that's how I do my brows. I hope you guys found this video helpful and I'll see you guys in my next video. One last favorite I want to ask you guys is go check out my pet haul video on the Pet Collective's YouTube channel. I'll put the link below. Uh, I love doing hauls on my regular channel, but I got the opportunity to do a pet haul for this pet YouTube channel and get a bunch of cool stuff for my pet children, Rose and Portia. So make sure you go check that out if you love pets and you want to see what I got them. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon.